there are now many um, reported cases where these neural network based systems that take a lot of data and come to some conclusion and are then advising people on decisions to make have shown bias. And the bias that they can, show... Can you give some exa one or two well, examples of that? Um, uh, yeah, so there are um, uh, systems for putting... this. So all of the ads that you see, unless you block them all, are driven by this kind of recognition and the ads for jobs for women are different from the ad. They were. I mean, people fixed, sort of fixed it when it got when it got noticed. Were different from the jobs for men. Different racial groups got different jobs. Um, there are issues with court cases. There are issues with uh, images. There's um, there was one of the earliest examples was Google mislabeling a photograph of African American people as a gorilla, which, by the way, Google fixed that problem by just never using gorilla as what it Talk about a hack. Um, but, you know, it wasn't just, I mean, that was, a, that was an example. And a few weeks later, a uh, graduate student I was working with said her husband had been confused with a gargoyle. And I know, I mean, he didn't look quite like you look, Steve, but pretty, cl no, younger version, <laughs> younger version, younger version. I don't think he looks like a gargoyle. So um, uh, there are several problems with those. So first, I want to say people in the field are working very, very hard to fix this problem in many different ways and to understand what it would be to build a system that was fair, which I'll put in quotes. Um, one issue is the data that the systems are using, and one possible use of the systems is to reveal the bias in that data, which, by the way, you know, is also could be a the data that people use to make similar decisions. For example, who's going to um, get parole and who's not going to get parole is could also be biased, and so the system could help with that. Um, and the other is to make the systems. Um, to insist that the systems can explain what they're doing to be sort of a and therefore be accountable, and the other is to get more transparency into the system. So it is a problem. People should be aware of it. Anybody who uses a system to help them make a decision should ask about the data that it's based on. Okay, um, can but I people are working on it. Can I just back up for a moment? I mean, don't doesn't all of that have to be programmed originally? So in other words, if there is bias that's showing up in some of these sort of this pattern recognition, I mean, how did it get there in the first place? So, so, you know, so we were talking earlier, what do you, the question is what you mean by programming. The algorithm could be fine in terms of how it takes the data it gets and does the pattern recognition that was being talked about, but it could be given data that isn't good. So, for example, if the data it's given, 90% of the people who are doctors are male, and only 10% are women, and um, I won't pick what the 90% are women and not men, then it's not surprising it shows different. It shows different ads to women and to men. The question is how you correct that data in the bias, that bias in the data, and some of it is because of who's using the internet and where the data comes from. So you, you actually have to look behind the data that the algorithm is getting. And that's why I'm hedging about programming. It, it could be it's not the algorithm per se, it's the data, but then you want to ask how you redesign the algorithm so it in some ways first notices that the data might be skewed. Roger, did you want to follow I, up? I can only, uh, on, only agree. So there will be laws and legislation about training your um, computers um, in a non-biased, fair way, probably. Because um, otherwise, it would lead to very biased uh, systems. But there are many hard decisions other than that that needs to be made. For example, when you build a model of some something, anything, you need to figure out how granular you want to be. Mm -hmm. Do you want to lump every single human into one uh, box and say human, or do you want to divide that category up into um, different kinds of human? And then you get into all sorts of problems. 
um, because you have to make a choice uh, on how granular you want your model to be. And this is the case with every, everything in life. Every, we, we do this all the time. Some of us are very granular when it comes to, let's say, wine. <laughs> we are very, you know, and all, some other, some of us are just wine is wine. So and when, when you want a computer or a system to associate certain things, you have to make all these decisions. It's very hard, <laughs> and it's only going to get harder, I think. But it's b because it's real. This is this is real stuff, and hopefully, optimistically, it will all teach us something fundamental about what what we are doing anyway. Because we are biased, all of us are. So maybe this will show us actually how biased we are. We are.